and welcome back to Women of History, a channel where we share stories of unsung heroes who transformed history. Before we get into it, I'm gonna do the annoying thing of asking you to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment if you can. Don't mind me, just YouTubing. Anyway, based on your interest in my TikTok about Ludmila Pavlichenko, a divorced teenage mom who became a sniper for the Allied forces, today we're gonna to talk about a kindergarten teacher turned sharpshooter who also fought on behalf of the Allied forces in World War II, Tatyana Nikolaevna Baramzina. Born in 1919 in Glasgow, Ramzina was the fifth of six children in her family. After graduating from Glasgow State Pedagogical Institute, she began teaching a kindergarten class in the village of Kashkashur. But her life changed when the Nazis invaded. To defend her country and her freedom, she began training as a nurse in the evenings while learning to sharpshoot during the day. Her promising skill level meant she was sent to further her training and expertise at the Central Women's Snipers Training School. She eventually joined the 3rd Belarusian Front where she made 16 kills in 3 months. Some say that during her time there, she began to go blind at as young an age as 24 and that they considered discharging her from the service but she fought on. On July 1944, her troop parachuted into enemy lines to prevent the retreat of German forces. During this period, Baramzina made 20 kills. The Allied forces were greatly outnumbered. For every member of the Allied forces, there were 10 Germans. The bodies really started mounting, and since Baramzina had trained as a nurse, she was sent to take care of the wounded allies. But unfortunately, from the moment that she stepped across enemy lines, it was as though her fate had been sealed. Despite her bravery, she was captured by the Nazis and tortured for information. They gouged her eyes out, but since she refused to divulge any useful information, the Nazis shot her at a point-blank range with an anti-tank rifle. So in her 20s, Baramzina's life was brought to an abrupt halt. After the war ended, this young Shiro was awarded with the honor of the Hero of the Soviet Union. A memorial was built in her memory in Glazov, the place where she was born, and streets were named after her in three different cities. And what's more, in the school that she used to teach at, they renamed the Young Pioneer Group in her memory. And that's the story of the kindergarten teacher turned sniper who fought on behalf of the Allies and gave up her life. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment with other women that you think people should know about, and turn on notifications so that you can follow along as we share the stories of amazing women of history. Today we're gonna talk for the on bed. The honor of the for every ten for every